G'day guys and welcome back to Retrospect Reviews uh, and this is what I picked up in the month of May. I know I'm a bit late with this one, I haven't been feeling too crash hot but I am back uh, feeling a lot better. So um, I picked up a few things uh, when I was out and about. So without further ado, let's get on with it and see what I picked up. Okay, first up was actually technically a present from Christine. She found this one, and that was this uh, the Ninja for the Sega Master System. Um, I think in some other countries it might have been called the Sega Ninja. So basically, it is a run and gun game, a bit like Commando uh, or Akira Warriors. It's it's a pretty good copy. Um, nice and clean cover. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's pretty good actually for its age. So whoever had this really looked after it. The only thing missing is of course the manual oh and there goes the cartridge so there's the cartridge yeah it's in pretty good condition i don't know how popular uh this game was i didn't play this or um even know about this for a few years i uh, any time i actually really knew much about it was when i started to um collect for the sega master system so we got that, uh, and it's got a barcode, so I don't know if that's, um, if it will focus on it. So I don't know if that's, like, this is the next video store rental or something along those lines. I don't remember them having barcodes at the top. I don't think any of my others have barcodes, but there's no indication it was a X rental. So it's a pretty clean and nice cartridge. So I've got that one. <laughs> Next up, I picked up this collection of um, game and watch collection for Nintendo for the Nintendo DS. When I was a kid, the only thing we had to um, take with us when we travelled as a kid was the game and watches. Uh, it only has three games on it, which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping there would have been a little bit more. I know there's a game and watch collection too. I don't know if it was released outside of Japan though, but it does have one of my the games that I did have when I was a kid, and that was Octopus. But this one, this one has uh, Oil Panic, Donkey Kong, and Greenhouse. Now a friend of mine, uh, I think he believes he still has them in a box somewhere, but he did have. I remember he had Donkey Kong. I was super jealous of that one. And he did have Oil Panic. Um, I was never really good at Oil Panic when I was a kid. It, um, I wasn't sure what I was meant to be doing. It's a dual screen. And Greenhouse, I never played it until I got this. So this is another really nice, clean uh, NDS pickup. It's got the uh, it's got the manual, and it's also got cartridge. Very nice, very clean. I've got the I got picked this up pretty cheap actually, which is uh, I think last time I checked on eBay, this particular one is going for around the hundred dollar mark, and the second one is a little bit higher. But hopefully I will come across the second one somewhere along the line. But like I said, I don't know if it was actually released in Australia. I have seen it in Japan. I'm not sure if the NDS is region locked or not. Um, if it might have to look into that and um, if it isn't I might actually see if I can import one from Japan so that yeah so that was a good pickup so I picked that one up
Okay, the next thing I picked up, I've been wanting this one for a while. Um, it's still pretty pricey, but I got this for a, a deal. This was uh, $13 I got this for. Uh, I have seen it in EB Games, or see, it's kind of like our CEX or our um, GameStop. And that was Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii. Um, I've been holding out buying this for ages, hoping that uh, EB Games would reduce its price on it. Um, I figured, you know, the Wii's yeah, what, a good 15 years old now, maybe more. And, um, yeah, I was hoping the Wii one would, would drop. We do play the Wii a fair bit still, so that's why I was keen to pick it up. I was hoping to get it on the Wii U as well. But, um, it too is still up there in price. Um, manual in really nice condition. See, the CD's in good condition as well. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, last time I checked, they were still trying to flog them off for 40 bucks, maybe a bit more. And the Wii U, I think, is about 46 fifty dollars so hopefully I'll find a Wii U but I am considering maybe buying it on the switch uh, the next game I picked up um, I've been wanting this one for a while I do want to get it for the N64 uh, but I ended up getting it for a good deal uh, for the Nintendo GameCube, and that's Mario Golf for Toadstool Tour. Um, I did play the Mario Golf on Golf on the N64 years ago um, on a friend's console, and uh, never really played it on the GameCube. So I'm looking forward to playing it. I, I really did hope that they would re-release it for the Wii or the Wii U, but um, yeah, never for some reason they've never released Mario Golf on those two platforms. I am hoping for the Switch, maybe. So, um, anyone from Nintendo is listening, uh, can we please have Mario Golf for the Switch? Um, I do like Mario Golf games. I, I've got um, a Disney version for the PlayStation 2. Um, these are a bit more f uh, family fun, but I like the whole each 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 person trying to sabotage the other one, and usually they have hidden um, bonuses and stuff to find. So. Uh, yeah, I was quite eager when I saw this. Um, got this at a good price. Uh, I paid $25 for it, um, but it's the first time I've seen one in Australia. Fortunately, it is missing the manual, but uh, other than that, it is in reasonably good condition. The last thing that I picked up, um, picked this up, uh, this guy wasn't sure if this actually worked anymore, picked it up for a bargain, and that was this uh, Time Fun, uh, Monkey Time Fun Little Held Held, Handheld, it's a bit like a Nintendo Game Watch, uh, this is the VTech, I guess they were trying to compete, saw that Nintendo was doing well with their handheld. And they produced this one. I'm I'm sure I didn't have this, but it when I saw it, I kind of had this kind of um, memory of of it. So I was quite keen. Now the guy um, who sold me this uh, had it in a box for the last thirty or so years. He said the last time he used it, it worked, but he said, "Look, I haven't had time to get batteries, so I don't know if it works or not." So I haven't tried batteries yet. So I will, um, I'm going to do a video on this, so if you want to see if it worked or not, um, yeah, pop back to that. Well, that's it. That's everything I picked up for the month of May. Uh, in the comments down below, let me know what you thought was the best thing I picked up. And did you have a Time Fun handheld when you were a kid? And don't forget to like and share. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, especially if you want to see if this 
time fun um, handheld monkey game actually works because that's going to be in next week's video so stay tuned for that well that's everything uh, for this video thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time bye Thank you.